Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We'll continue doing 7.4. Before I go to the to the area of a service or service of um, um, the area of the service of revolution, uh, let me just um, just explain something here. Now, when I do the the integral here, when I do the integral, f of x should be um, x to the power half plus c. But I know in one of the points which satisfy the function is that f of 1 equal 1. So that give me 1 equal 1 plus c, so c equals 0. OK, so it will be the same thing. So f of x will be the same thing, square root of 5, just, just to make it clear. OK, now what is the definition of the area of the surface of the evolution? You have a continuous function over a closed interval. The area of the surface for revolving the graph about a horizontal or vertical axis is this as the function of x, r of x, times this. This one, if you remember, is the same one we did for the arc length. OK, where y is the function of x in this case? If x is the function of y, I have r of y, this. Be careful, what is r of x? r of x is the distance between the graph of f and the axis of revolution. r of x will be the distance between the graph of f and the axis of revolution. The same thing. R of y, distance between the graph of g, because now we have g of y, x equals g of y. And the axis is revolution. OK. Now, yeah, this is just to explain it. It's 2, two by y or 2 by x. For rotation about the y-axis, I have 2 by x. And for rotation about the x-axis, I have 2 by y. 2 by y. Either, yeah. Sometimes it's y, this, where the s is this or this. So that, that would make it make it easier. So if I have rotation about the x-axis and they have y equal f of x, it means this y will be f of x. If I have rotation about the x-axis and x equal g of y, then I have y as well. And the same thing here. So I think this one um, explain it uh, more. So it will be 2 by y if I have x axis. And I so I have uh, rotation about the y axis, then it will be 2 by x, the other one. OK. OK, now find the area of the surface formed by doing rotation about this function. By revolving the graph of this function in this interval about the X axis. This will be the first example. Okay. Let me see it. Now uh, we have the formula. Two by. Now what is Rx? If you notice, just just to make it clear, this is y equal x cubed, and about the x axis. So Rx is the distance between Rx is the distance between the graph and the axis of evolution. So what's the distance between the graph and the axis of evolution? This distance, it will be f of x. So R of x equal f of x in this case. Or I can use the other way. I have the rotation about the x-axis, so I'll put y. I'll put y on what is y? Y is f of x. The same thing. So my s will be integral of 2 by times the integral. This is a, this is b from 0 to 1, r of x, which is f of x, square root 1 plus f prime of x, all square dx. OK. Uh, I need, yeah, that will be what? 2 by, if this is f of x, what will be f prime of x? Easy one, 3x squared. Class. So I have 2 by integral from 0 to 1, x cubed, that f of x, square root 1 plus 3x squared dx. Okay. Yeah, now I need to do this integration. Yeah, I can do a substitution. Notice. Yeah, let me use another different. If I let u 
equal 1 plus 3x squared. du will be what? du will be 6x. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forget the square. So that all square. That give me 2 by from 0 to 1, x cube square root 1 plus 9, x to the power 4, dx. Now I will do the substitution. Yeah, so u, I let u, 1 plus 9 x to the power 4. What will be du? It will be 36 x cubed. So I need 36 here and over 36 here. So that give me what? Pi over 18 from where to where? If 0, I have 1. If 1, I have 10. Okay. u to the power half. Du. So that give me pi over 18 times 2 over 3, u to the power 3 over 2 from 1 to 10. That give me what? This is 1, this is 9, so it's pi over 27 times what? Cube root, square root of 10, cube, which is 10 square root of 10. 1, 1. That will be the answer. Okay. Find the area of the surface formed by this one, x squared, about what? The y-axis. About what? The y-axis. So this is x squared, and they want it about the y-axis. Be careful here. Now, the distance, r of x, what will be r of x? The distance between the function and the graph will be x. So r of x equal x in this case. I hope it's clear. Yeah. Or, as, as, as we said here, if you have the function rotation about the x-axis, they will put y. Rotation about the y-axis, they have x. Okay. Yeah, that will give me S will be equal to two by integral from zero to square root of two, R of X, which is X square root one. What is F prime? It's two X, one plus two X all square. Don't forget the square. That will be two by integral zero to square root of two X square root what? One plus four X squared DX. Now I let u equal 1 plus 4x squared, du would be what? 8x dx. So I need 8, I divide by 8. So I have y over 4, that from where to where? 0, it will be 1. Square root of 2. It will be nine. Yeah, it will be nine. Okay. So that give me what? U to the power half. Du. That will be pi over four times two over three. U to the power three over two from one to nine. That give me what? This is one. This is two. Pi over six times what? Uh, square root of 9, 3 cubed, that will be 27, minus 1. That will be 26, which is 13 by over 3. And that will be the answer. That will be the answer. Okay. Next one, there's service rotation, this, this, this. Okay. Rotation about what? X-axis. So it will be R of X? Will be Y. Will be y. Now x is a function of y. So I'm doing the things in terms of y. And that will be r of y. Yeah. 
r phi will be y. So we leave it as y. So s will be 2 pi for 1 to e. I need I need x prime. Yeah. I need first to do this calculation because it's a little bit of I have f of y is this. I need to find this is square root one plus f prime of y square because it's not it's not an easy one minus ln y over two. So it will be f prime of y. It will be y over two minus one over two y. Okay, so it will be. Yeah, I make it in the okay. F of y square. That will be y square over four minus half. Yeah, half times uh, one over four. One over four times two. That will be half. That's the same half idea. Plus. 1 over 4 y yeah. square. Now 1 plus f prime of y all square. That would be what? The same thing, but plus half. And that give me y over 2 minus 1 over 2 y all square. So square root of this, which I need in the formula, will be y over 2 minus 1 over 2 y. Now what is s? S will be 2 by integral. The y values from 1 to e, from 1 to e. And uh, so r of y is y, y times this, which is this one. Yeah, let me write it. y square root 1 plus f prime of y square dy. And that will be 2y, 1 to e, y times this. Give me what? 2y, 1 to e, I don't know why they have e here, okay. y squared over 2 minus half dy. That give me 2y of what? y cubed over 6 hmm? integration minus half y from 1 to e. Then give me 2 by e cubed over 6 minus half e. Minus half e, OK minus 1 over 6 plus half. So that give me what? 2 by, yeah, multiply the 2. Let's see what will happen. Multiply the 2. So I have by, I want to write it the same way, like this one. That will be e cubed over 3 minus e. This is what? Half minus 1 over 6. You make it over 6, minus 1 over 6, plus 3 over 6, 2 over 6, 1 over 3. Plus 1 over 3. Is it? That will be minus 1 over 6, minus minus half, plus half. So half, that will be 2. No, make it over 6. This is 3 over 6. It will be 2 over 6, 1 over 3. I'm not sure about the answer. Okay. So I take by over three common factor. I have what? E cubed. E cubed. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. This is minus, this is plus, this is plus, this is plus. This is plus, this is plus, this is plus. 
is the method of calculation. Huh? That will be two by of what? E cubed over six plus half E minus one over six minus half. Okay. That give me what? Two by, I multiply the two, huh? like what you did. I have E cubed over three plus E. Uh, take, take the by outside. Keep, keep the by outside. I have a cubed over three plus e. This is what? Minus four over six, which is minus two over three. This is minus one over six, minus three over six, minus four over six, minus two over three. Yeah, it seems there's a mistake. That y over three a cubed plus three a minus two, not 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 minus four. I think this is minus two. Am I right? Yeah, I have this is the function. This is the derivative. Okay. Square it. You have minus half. Add one. It will be plus half. That will be plus. So I have y over two plus one over two y. And it multiplied by y, so it's y squared over two plus half. So I have y cubed over six plus half y plus half y. Then I do the calculation. Yeah, be sure about the calculation. Find the answer obtained by rotating this function about what? The y axis. Y axis means my s will be integral from a to b of c to d in this case, since y. 2 by x square root 1 since it's about y by axis g prime of y or square d since the half x is a function of y. So I need to do this g of y is y cubed that implies g prime of y is 3y squared. Okay, and what is x? x will be y cubed. Huh? So s will be 2 by 1 to 2 x, which is y cubed, square root 1 plus this is square, which is 9y to the power 4 plus 9y to the power 4 dy. Now, very clear. If I let u equal 1 plus 9y to the power 4, du will be what? 36 y cubed dy. So I need 36 and I divide by 36. That's what we did here. So that would be what? y over 16, y over, y over 18. Okay, integral of what? At one, it will be 10. At one, yeah, one plus nine, 10. At two, two to the power four is what? 16, 16 times nine, nine times six, 54. Sixteen times yeah, one hundred forty-four. Plus one, it will be one hundred forty-five. Okay, that will be du, and that will be u. So I have u to the power half du. So I have what? Y over eighteen times two over three u to the power three over two from ten to one hundred forty-five. That is one nine y over twenty-seven times one. Square root of 45 cubic, that will be 145, square root 145. Minus 10, I have 10 square root of 10. That's it, watch it this way. The curve is an arc of the circle, this. Find the area surface of 10 by rotating the arc about the x axis. 
Now uh, this is is about the x axis. About the x axis. So my service area will be two by y by y square root. This is a function of x. Take it I have this is function of x. Why the function of x? So this is one plus f prime of x per square. And that will be the x values minus one to one to by y. Since it's about the x axis, I will write y. What is y? It's square root of this. Okay. Dx. That will be the formula. Now I need to find this. So I have f of x square root 4 minus x square. f prime will be what? Minus 2x over this. Square it. That give me what? 4x square over 4 minus x square. 1 plus f prime of x all square. That will be 4x square. 1 plus this. So common denominator, I have what? 4 plus 3x squared over this. Is it? When you square it, you will get what? Oh, we, we differentiate this. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Be careful the conclusion. This is two here. So that is minus x square root four minus x squared. Don't rush it. This is four minus x squared to the power half. So it will be one over two, four minus x squared minus x half. Okay. So that f prime square, give me what? X squared over this. One plus f prime square that give me what one plus this and that very clear it's four over four minus x square will be four over four minus uh, minus x square okay that one so i have this integral from minus one to one two by y which is this times this one under the square root. So that two over this. Nice. So I get everything now. This is cancelled. So I have integral minus one to one of four by dx. So it will be four by x for minus one to one. And that times four by one minus four by of minus one. That give me eight by, which is this. Yeah, matter of calculation. The arc of the parabola from this is rotated about the y-axis. Find the area. It's about what? The y-axis. So S will be at the function. is function of X. Oops. This is function of X. Y equal function of X. So S will be integral, the X values from one to two. Okay, two by about the Y axis, I will write X. Square root, not square root, yeah, square root, one plus F prime of X, all square DX. Okay, so I have Y equal F of X, equal X square, F prime, will be 2x, f prime square will be 4x square. So 1 plus f prime square equal 1 plus 4x square. Okay, now let me do the calculation. S will be 2 by integral, yeah, 2 by outside, integral from 1 to 2, x square root, 1 plus 4x squared dx. So I let u 1 plus 4x squared 
du will be at x dx. So I need at, I divide by x. That give me y over 4 from where to where. 1 give me 5. 2, it will be 4, 16, 17. And this is u to the power half du. So that will be y over 4 times 2 over 3, u to the power 3 over 2, from 5 to 17. That give me what? This is 1, this is 2, y over 6, 17, square root of 17, minus 5, square root of 5. That's it. Example 3, find the area of the surface. Sometimes we'll get an integral, which I cannot do, huh? according to what I have. Now I have y is a function of x, and it's about the x-axis. So s will be 2y about the x-axis, the x values from 0 to 1, 2 by y. y will root 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Okay, so now let me do this, y prime or f prime of x will be the same, f prime of x squared, 1 plus, that will be 1 plus e to x. So I plug everything, I have 2 by 0 to 1, y, which is e to the power x, will root 1 plus e to x dx. I need to solve this. Yeah, I cannot solve it using what I what we did, but yeah, I did u 1 plus e to x. Du will be what? Du will be I let u I cannot let u equal e to the power x. Then du will be e to the power x dx. So this one I can rewrite it to by from where to where. Now, if zero, it will be one, and this is, will be e. This is du. I have a square root one plus u squared du. And for this, I need trig substitution. So a section. 8.4 to solve the solve the integral, which I will leave it like this. As I said, sometimes you need to do integration uh, methods, which is not covered uh, according to this section. And what happened these sections and the, the previous book, this section about the arc length and service resolution was after doing the uh, integration methods. So of course that you will see questions like this. But this can be done by section 8.5. Not difficult, but I will leave it. Find the area. On the service, the net involving this, I have y equal function of x. I need to deal in terms of x. Okay, I have the x values. About what? The x axis. So what is s? 2 by integral from a to b, which is 1 to 2, the x values. I have y. Then the square root 1 plus f prime of x square dx, because everything there's of x. So I have y equal f of x. What is f prime of x? That will be 2 square root of x. f prime will be what? It's x to the power half. That will be 2 times half x to the power minus half. So it will be 1 over square root of x. So I have 1 plus f prime of x all square. That is 1 plus 1 over x. Or in other words, it's x plus 1 over x. It is x plus 1 over x. OK, now I'll plug it. Now this is 2 by integral from 1 to 2. What is y? 2 square root of x. The square root of this, which is square root x plus 1 over square root of x dx. This is cancelled. 
and I have four by from one to two, x plus one to the power half dx, which is easy to do. That will be four by four by what? Uh, this to the power three over two, so two over three. This one to the power three over two. From where to where? From one to two. That will be eight by over three. Substitute that will be three cube root of square root of three to the power three. That give me three square root of three minus one. That will be two square root of two, which is two square root of two, which is this. Answer. Find themselves that they are involving the curves to authenticated axis. I have this curve, so I have y equal function of x. But about what? X axis. Plus. What is s? To call this one. This one will be 2. I'm doing 1 now. s will be 2 by from 0 to 2. Since x axis, I have y. And I need square root 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Do this, y will be x cubed over 9, y prime, or f prime, let me go to f prime. To go with the same notation, f prime will be what? x squared over 3. I have also 1 plus f prime squared. That is 1 plus x to the power 4 over 9. In other words, 9 plus x to the power 4 over 9. Okay. Now I have what? I have like the numbers. I have two by. This is root from 0 to 2, what is y? This is y, a plug y, x cubed over 9, times the square root of this, which is square root 9 plus x to the power 4 over 3 dx. Yeah. Now we'll do the substitution. Now it's just a matter of integral. That will be 2 by over 27 integral from 0 to 2 x cubed square root 9 plus x to the power 40 x okay so i let u equal 9 plus x to the power 4 du would be 4 x cubed du x i need 4 and 1 over 4 so that will be by 81 hmm? that would be this is one this is two by over 81 by over not 81 over four sir. yeah by over this is two 54 and i have four there no this is will be my du so it will be integral from where to where 0 give me 9, 2 give me what? 9 plus 16, 25. Okay, u to the power half, du. That will be by over 54 times what? This is the of this, 2 over 3, u to the power 3 over 2, from 9 to 25. Okay, this is 1, this is 27. Then over 81, 25, 5 cube, 125. Square root of 9, 3 cube, minus 27. That give me y over 81. This is what? 98. Or oh, 100 minus 2, which is 98. So it will be 98 pi over 81, which is this one. That's correct. Okay, next one, I will do it here. Now it's about what? Y-axis. Y-axis, so it will be S2 by integral 
I'm dealing with the y. This is x function of y. Ready. And that will be zero. Strange number. Fifteen over four. Two y. It's about x y axis. That will be x. Square root one plus t prime of y squared dy. Okay. Now I will do this. G of y. What will be g prime of y? Yeah, be careful. That will be two times one over two square root four minus y. Derivative of this minus one. So that give me minus one over square root four minus y. So I have one plus t prime of y square. That is one plus one over four minus y. In other words, it's what? Five minus y over four minus y. Okay. Now, I need to plug everything here. That will be two by zero to 15 over four. X, I will write X as is. Times a square root of this with square root five minus y with square root four minus y dy. This one cancelled. Now I do the calculation. That will be two by zero fifteen over four. Let me say four by who cares? Five minus y to the power half dy. Yeah, you can do it with the substitution or you can do it right away. Yeah, let me just do it right away that will be four by of what what's what's the what's the integral of this times two over three five minus y to the power three over two with the minus sign yeah yeah you can check this is three over two so it will be minus Five minus y to the power half derivative of this minus the minus will come to minus, and that from zero to fifteen over four. Yeah, I know why they have these numbers. strange numbers. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I have what? This is minus eight by over three times. Now substitute five minus fifteen over four. That will be what? Five. That will be 20 minus 15, five over four. So I have uh, five. Uh, yeah, I have 15 or oh, five over four. Let me do it like this. The power three over two minus. With the Z, I have five to the power three over two. Now we need this to do this calculation. That will be what? Minus 8 by over 3. I have 5. 5 square root of 5. Over over what? Uh, square root of 2 cube over 8. Minus 5 square root of 5. I can take five square root of five common factor. And they have what, seven, sir? Huh? Yeah, seven times five. Okay, um, it's a matter of calculation. Let me do this step here. So I have a space at least. I have a space, so let me have minus eight by over three. This is what, five root of five over eight. Minus five square root of five over one. Let me take five square root of five common factor. I have what? One over eight minus one. And that give me minus eight by over three times five square root of five. One over eight minus one, that is minus seven over eight. So eight cancelled. Minus with minus cancel. I have 35 square root of 5 by over 3, which is this. Yeah, 
I think we did good number of questions for the service of revolution. The main idea is here. If I have the rotation about the x axis, I write it y. 2 by y times this, which is dark red. Rotation about the y axis, I write it x. Either it's a function of y or it's an x. It depends. I am dealing with that in terms of x or in terms of y. Okay, let me stop the. I think we did a good number of questions. Let me stop the recording. And the remaining is just all the exam questions. So we did practice for the arc length and for the area of the service revolution, which mainly we have formulas. I'll stop the recording. Thank you.